depending on where you are and those winds increasing. Um, not to uh, gloss over today, but we're gonna see yet another run of snow continue this afternoon and evening, Southeast North Dakota. Uh, we'll see the most snow, uh, one to four inches in, in that Foreman, Lisbon, Wapaton area. Um, and then we're gonna have a break overnight. Um, we don't really see winds increasing dramatically overnight. Uh, we'll probably see those winds start to increase during the day tomorrow, but not really expecting the blizzard conditions to start until uh, new snow ramps up uh, tomorrow afternoon. And as that snow lifts from south to north, uh, moving, creating blizzard conditions into the I-94 corridor and eventually the Highway 200 corridor. Uh, so that's the, the main biggest impact from this system. Uh, north of the new snow uh, tomorrow, we're gonna have wind chills uh, wind chills as low as 50 below for the wind chill warning areas. Uh, to the east, uh, less wind, warmer temperatures, wind chill advisory areas. Um, to the east of the valley, uh, in that Detroit Lakes, Park Rapids, Wadena uh, area, we're going to see uh, heavier snows. Uh, the further south you are, the more snow you're going to get uh, with the system tomorrow. Uh, so we'll go to the next slide. Please go to the next slide, computer. There it goes. Uh, so like I said, ongoing snow today, um, one to four inches southeast North Dakota. Uh, those visibilities are going to be pretty restricted because some of that snow is going to be pretty intense. Uh, so you may see that uh, one to three, four inches happen in a short period of time. Again, not expecting really any wind with these uh, snows, this snowfall this afternoon and evening, uh, and then it departs relatively quickly this evening and we get a break before our uh, impacts and snow begins tomorrow. Uh, in addition to the snow tonight, this slide shows the snow that we're expecting noon Wednesday tomorrow through uh, the overnight period into uh, Thursday, uh, afternoon. So we're seeing another round of snow for the Southern Valley and Lakes Country um, where uh, we're creating um, plenty of blowable snow. So as this next round of snow lifts from north to south, excuse me, from south to north, as it lifts north, uh, that's when we'll see those blizzard conditions uh, really get going. Uh, before that, we'll still have the snow that we had today. And so we'll see some blowing, some drifting, but probably not widespread whiteout conditions um, where we're not expecting, uh, you know, travel will be impacted. We have advisory going through this time frame tonight uh, into tomorrow. But then when we see the next round of snow develop along with those winds, that's when we're expecting those blizzard conditions and major impacts to travel to begin. Uh, along with those impacts to travel, we have the wind chills. So if you are traveling or uh, if you have to travel, um, these are the wind chills that we're looking at uh, tonight, beginning tonight, uh, through the day tomorrow, and then again tomorrow night. So anywhere between um, 50 below in Northeast North Dakota, uh, and then less of an impact, but still very hazardous if you're stuck in a vehicle somewhere. Uh, so um, this matrix shows kind of our impact areas and, and uh, what the main hazard is. Northeast North Dakota, Grand Forks area, uh, Northern Valley, wind chills are the main concern because all the, the new snow stays away depending on how strong those winds get tomorrow, we may see a little bit of blowing snow impacts. We're not expecting blizzard uh, for the Northern Valley, but still may see some blowing snow issues, you know, half mile visibility, some isolated um, pockets of, of uh, impactful reductions to visibility. Um, Northwest Minnesota, no new snow, wind chills are mainly the problem. So your, eye, your big problem areas are expected the I-94 corridor, Fargo, Southeast North Dakota, into Fergus Falls. Those are the areas where we have the, 
intense snowfall rates today, um, a little lull in activity with some, some areas of blowing snow, uh, some wind chills tonight. And then tomorrow afternoon, we see that snow increase and ramp up again, uh, combined with the strengthening winds. Uh, wind gusts look to be 40, 45 miles an hour with, uh, with that falling snow tomorrow afternoon into the evening and overnight. Um, and then, uh, you know, the heavier snow continues or moves over into Wadena, Eastern Otter Tail, where we don't quite have the winds to make blizzard, but we're going to see those snow amounts six to 12 inches or so um, from Wadena over to um, uh, Parker's Prairie down into Grant County um, with some um, areas just to the north there for Detroit Lakes, Park Rapids, not seeing that heavier snow, not seeing the wind. So they're, they're just going to see some snow, blowing snow and wind chills.